Should your child be wearing a seat belt on the school bus? It's a question sparking debates across the country. But in the wake of recent school bus crashes, including the tragedy that killed six children in Tennessee, one local company isn't waiting for regulations to make changes. News Channel 5's Rebecca Schleicher joins us from the Gray Line bus yard, where the company is planning to outfit its 40 buses with seat belts over the next two years. Rebecca, who is this going to impact? Well, Carrie, this is going to immediately impact the eight charter schools that Gray Line works with right now for school buses. But they say a school bus is put together basically to protect children from the padded seats to the stronger roof to the emergency exits. But now Gray Line is saying those features alone are not enough. These are the images that horrified a nation. Oh, it was just horror and terrible that them little baby babies died. Six children dead. The type of accident we're responding to today, a bus accident with multiple injuries to children, is every public safety professional's worst nightmare. Two dozen rushed to the hospital. Debates on seatbelts came quickly after on the national, state, and local levels. And while lawmakers discuss the issue, one local company is taking action. It's the right thing to do. Gray Line is a private company with 40 school buses that service eight charter schools in Davidson County. CEO Chuck Abbott says adding seatbelts may cost him around a half million dollars. When you order them new, they come with the seatbelts already installed. To replace them, you have to actually take the back of the, the seat off. But the entire fleet will have them within the next two school years. Some say buses are already safer than other cars on the road. An average of six passengers are killed every year. But Abbott thinks it's good for safety and for business. I'm not an engineer or a lawmaker, so I just see that this is going to be happening eventually as public opinion and attention gets paid to this, and uh, I think it's going to be something that's going to happen eventually. So the best way to do it is to be ahead of it. Inspired by the tragic images no one wants to see ever happen again. And with the higher cost, they say that they will likely need to raise the price for the schools that they do work with with their school buses. But they also said there's room for more orders in the future if there are other schools that are interested in working with them. Reporting live in Nashville, Rebecca Schleicher, News Channel 5.